uh, share a lesson, very practical one. We have, a, we have to have a reason why we do this, why we do that, why we want to believe Jesus in this church. Okay? What good to believe Jesus in this church? God granted this church to know the truth in the Bible. This is number one and the most important one. When it comes to worship God, come to this day called believe Jesus, the truth in the Bible is essential. The heart of all matter. matter. Like everybody understand, when you raise a Bible, or carry a Bible, walking on the street, we declare a clear, simple message. We believe Jesus according to the Bible. And by the grace of God, this one, over China, they all understand. In New York City, they all understand. I think other places they understand too. When you carry a Bible walking towards a church building, people assume that you declare believe Jesus according to the Bible. Especially those who are preaching, they have to raise the Bible, declare that they believe Jesus and preach according to the Bible. In that case, <clears throat> if they don't really preach according to the Bible, every time when they raise up a Bible, they lie to God, to themselves, to everybody else. That is simple and is very good, but also can be very dangerous. If you don't really know the truth and practice the truth, record it in a Bible, and you carry a Bible, walking on the street, and then you raise up a Bible, and blah, blah, blah. If you don't really understand, and really preach and believe according to what says in the Bible. <clears throat> there are 12 verses 12 places of scripture in the Bible waiting for everybody to discover what I call the system of the Bible. Genesis to Revelation. There are 66 books. <clears throat> and they line up that way. There's a reason. And there is a system why it line up that way. And what are the 12 verses to help you light up very clear? You can have a picture, a straight line, straight line picture <coughs> from Genesis to Revelation. 12 verses. Today, I will not give you that 12 verses. You can come to me or search the website. I have it up there. Thank God I discovered this 12th place of scripture 55 years ago when I was preaching in Hong Kong. When I dedicate to be a preacher, I promise God I will preach according to what says in the Bible. And it's according to the original text. The original meaning written down <coughs> by the apostles and the Bible writers. 55 years ago, I was granted to discover these 12 verses. <coughs> Here another one, simple, much simple one. Acts chapter 9, 17 to 18. Why do I present this and have the confidence to say nobody else understand this 12th 
two scriptures, these two verses correctly, because I had studied with theological school principals, teachers, professors, and even Church of Christ preacher training schools, their headmaster, their director, they don't understand. Chinese people do not understand. They have one excuse. Maybe their Bible did not translate it correctly. And they don't know much about Greek text. But all the American English speaking people do not understand it. <clears throat> this one, I present this to you today, copy from the English Bible. Then Ananias <clears throat> went to the house, entered that house, placing his hands, hands, okay, so his two hands, placing his hands on Saul. He said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on the road as you were coming here, has sent me so that you may see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, something like scale fell from Saul's eyes and he could see again. He got up and was baptized. In simple English, these two verses, Ananias declared, Jesus sent him to go to help Saul. He's not Apostle Paul yet. Saul was a S-A-U-L. When he was named Saul, he was a very, very evil, wicked man. We get to the point that he wants to kill or make them prisoners. Whoever dared to believe Jesus is the Christ. He was a very evil, wicked man. Saul, S-A-U-L. And it took Jesus Christ to appear to him on the road to Damascus shine him with bright light. Yeah, by the way, especially for girls, I was trying to say pretty girls, sometimes not so pretty, but lots of evil people want to bully you. Here is one thing you learn. Now on, on the market, there is a little Press light, very small, maybe like the, the big is a little bit larger than finger. Peter, you have one? You should you do this, right? That light the doctor uses, right? The light, very bright light. You buy one of those very bright light. When evil men try to bully you, you shine on his eyes. He will lose sight for a split second. Then you can escape. Just by the way that you know, white light. You want to have one in the house in case someone put in your house, shine with his eyes. Okay? Don't be scared. The bright light, the bright light can blind him. He was blinded because he was wicked. He's going from Jerusalem to Damascus to arrest, kill those who believe Jesus. But Jesus had to do that to convert him. So he said, <clears throat> the Jesus whom make you blind, send me here to help you see again and to help you be filled with the Holy Spirit. And immediately he could see again. Then he got up and got baptized. It looked very simple, but not one interpret this correctly. The denomination, Turkey says, Apostle uh, Saul was saved 
before he was baptized. The Church of Christ say he was saved after he was baptized. Now who is what? But they don't they don't know how to explain it. They have a lot of weight, of course, but it's all wrong. Today I will not go into it. I just show you the scripture how the world missed it for the last 2,000 years. And here is the most easiest one. John 8, 31. <clears throat> the head of belief in the original text is having belief. I found it in the original text. All the English Bible translated had believed or had to believe. But originally, it was having believed. H-A-V-I-N-G. This church, God wanted to discover no other church. You Now, you can just search on the web. You click on whoever church website. Ask them. All the English Bible changed the word of God. And you know anyone who changed the word of God, the consequence is going to hell. Simple and clear. Everybody knows that. But in this church, we understand God wanted us to discover is the grace of God. Not me. I'm just one of those <coughs> instruments. And here is another one. All English translation miss it also. It is translated as, and whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Jesus said this to Martha. It's John 11:26 original text this way the living and believing and in me never die original text <clears throat> by the grace of God this church God granted discover and you are blessed that you are here this one is very simple also. Has been written on the Bible for 2,000 years. Many places I've been, when I told them, each human had three things, spirit and soul and body. When I was sharing in China, nobody knew it. When I was in Malaysia, Nobody knows it. When I was in Hong Kong, nobody knows it. But it has been in the Bible for 2,000 years. <clears throat> Each human has <clears throat> spirit and soul and body. You see, you have two N. Spirit, small letter, okay? Not Holy Spirit. Spirit in a man. Spirit and soul and body. To my surprise, <clears throat> uh, you can, each human has spirit and soul and body. So amazing, so simple. But how come? Nobody find out. But we got acquainted, we find out. And this psychologically, if you have this knowledge, psychologically, it will help you. Okay? Let me give you one real experience. One more time. Forty some years ago, when I first came to New York City, I don't have enough support to feed my family. I have three little children. So I have to work in Chinatown. One day, there is tall big guy. I don't know whether he's as tall as a uh, rugby, but quite tall. And another short big guy, pack, 
spring stacker point right here. Eight inches point right here. But the grace of God, he didn't stick it in. If he stick it in, if I didn't die, I would be in hospital for about David, eight months to recover. <laughs> but the question got psychology, psychologically, if you know you have three lives, this is only one third. Don't be too scared. But at that time, I was not scared. I said, hey, dangerous. You, dangerous. They said, and we are desperate. We need money. I said, well, see, we need go I said, well, I have eleven dollars. How about I give you ten? One dollar. I need to take subway to go home. And they said, how about your watch? I said, he took the watch. I said, wait a minute. I need a watch to tell time. You know, they give it back to me. Hey, Peter, they wonderful people. And I pull out my business card. I said, this is dangerous for you, very dangerous. You will get killed by doing this. This is my address, telephone number. And I'm working right up there. Next time, when you need money, need help, come look for me. Come to my office, look for me. Hey, also, how's that? He re they returned my watch very gracefully. So I offer my help. This is my car, my address here, and my office down there. Next time, when you need help, come look for me. I'll help you. I'm a preacher. But don't do this. This is very dangerous. You see, by the grace of God, if you know your three life, sarcastically, you don't be you don't be that kind of scared. You're hysterical. And you're in trouble. Very Simple in the Bible, but the grace of God, you know, because of that, I accumulate. Hey Moses, about sixty thousand now. I bought life insurance. <laughs> hey Moses, learn from me. Bought life insurance, buy life insurance in case I'm not safe. Okay, or you have money to live on. I have three little kids. So I bought life insurance in winter after that. Because if, if in case I die, my wife and three little kids have some, some money to stay alive, right for them. And now I'm correcting that myself. That's one way God helped me to accumulate money. I don't know how, okay? But the grace of God. And it's amazing. Chinese Bible got this one correctly. So amazed. Wonderful. Chinese Bible got it right. I know lots of English Bible. They got it right, but they don't even know it. Here is one. This is my next sermon. My next sermon, this one. Wonderful. I've been thinking it for quite a few days now how I'm going to deliver this one. I appeal to you, brothers, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another. Underline. Memorize this thing. Speak the same thing. Why from same verse we speak many different things? Wrong. This one is my Next sermon, next Sunday, speak the same thing. <clears throat> Listen to me very carefully, very important, by the grace of God. God granted me this message. 
everyone, all the people who declare that they are Christian, they believe Jesus. If you believe Jesus, you have one mind, one thinking, one mouth. Speak the same words. Let me give you right now one illustration. Number one, what is the name of the church? Church of Christ. All believers have to say this one same thing. If they don't, they go to hell. I'm so covetous. What is the name of the church in the Bible? Church of Christ. Every believer say the same thing. That's what I mean. And have to be same from the one brain, Apostle Paul. One mouth, one handwriting, Apostle Paul. Same, same man, same thinking, same speak, the same words. <clears throat> when you come to sing praise to God, what is the thing that you use? Food of your lips. Every Jesus believers say the same thing. If they don't, they go to hell. I just give you one little taste. By the grace of God, that one, one thinking, one mouth, say one kind of words. <clears throat> How often you worship God? On the first day of the week, every believer say the same thing. Okay? What does Jesus mean when you say, everyone who eat my flesh, drink my blood, have eternal life, never die? What is that? Taking the Lord's Supper on the fourth day of the week, all Jesus believers say the same thing. That's it. Beautiful, by the grace of God, I'm working on it. There may be no division among you, believers, and that you may be perfectly united in the same mind, same thought. You see that? Same mind, same thinking. One mind, one thinking, one mouth, one kind of words. <clears throat> On this earth, not one church realize no divisions should be translated as no denominational churches. It should be every believer should know this no division means no denominational churches. All believers have to say the same thing. <coughs> That's what it says over here. Original text. On this earth, not one church, not this one either. Check it out. Number two. Why so important that to know the truth? And why and how God wanted us to discover By the grace of God, we discover why they don't. You figure out the answer. My answer is not good to hear. H-E-A-R. Okay. Here, the tool can do this. Number one, set you free from sin. Jesus declared. If you do what says in the Bible, you are free. From sin, you can live a life free of sin. Jesus promised that. You have the scripture here. Save your soul. You have the scripture here. In the Chinese, I just use this. Save your soul. 
James chapter 1, 21. Here is the English translation. The truth in the Bible can save your soul and help you to face dangerous situation, dangerous occasion, can help you to calm down, answer correctly, so you don't get hurt. By the grace of God, I went to quite a few of them, very dangerous. Okay, I always pray to God, deliver me, deliver all of us from evil, wicked temptation. This world is very dangerous, especially right now. And 40 some years ago, you have jungle, you have jungle, and you have a lot of Italian, naughty young people. But you know that actually, 40 some years ago, those Italian, naughty young people is not as evil as these people right now. Now a lot of evil people, they literally spit on you. They literally punch you. They literally stab you. But not at that time. They just show that they want to bully you and make you run away from them. But by the grace of God, if you know that you have three life and you can save your soul, God is with you and protect you, sanctify you. Very important, young people, listen very carefully. Don't do evil. Your conscience will not let you go. You will feel bad so many times. Okay? <clears throat> sanctify you, keep your life clean of sin. Stay away from sin. The truth can help you. It help me. It can help you. Okay? As I mentioned it a few times, in my lifetime, I have seen lots of denominational people and even church and preacher in the Church of Christ disgracefully fall away from Drop out from preaching because of unholy life, unholy thing or evil thing they did. I'm very blessed by the grace of God. Once in a while, we have some people cho chosen to leave this church. Not one time. They accused John Chen did evil. Not one time. They can say John Chen speak too harsh. They can say John Chen preach the Bible too real. And my heart hurt. Hurt my feeling. They departed. But I always remember Apostle Peter his work cut heart and he got 3,000 repented. Okay? I praise the word of God. It's the word of God cut your heart, not me. Okay, like today, I have scripture over scripture over scripture. You see, this one is John 17, 17. Make you wise for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. You see? If you know the truth, you become wise, smart enough to know exactly what to do, to be perfect as the Holy Father in heaven is perfect. The day you got baptized correctly into the Lord, that's the day God declared you. You are as perfect as the Father in heaven is perfect. Now, I have mentioned it quite a few times now, and I make it shorter and shorter. As long as you stay in the hand 
in the heart, in the body of Christ. You are perfect, and the Father in heaven is perfect because you are in the body of Christ. And Jesus Christ declared, He and the Father are one. <coughs> Be, see right here, being perfect as the Father in heaven is perfect. Some people run away, never come back because they think, how in the world anyone can be perfect? We human over the world have only settled, set mindset. No one can be perfect. You see, everyone has mindset, S E T, set. No one can be perfect. Can you be perfect? Yes. Huh? You can do that? <laughs> they laugh. This guy is crazy. But in the Bible, it's true. The day you got baptized into the body of Christ, you are perfect. As the Father is perfect. Because you are in God already. That's Colossians 3 3. <clears throat> Number three. But to save your soul, you have to do this. Apostle Peter declared 2,000 years ago in Jerusalem, you have to save yourself. If you don't save yourself, I, can, I only say this. Of course, God can do all things. But God will not save you. If you don't save yourself, God declared He will not save you if you don't save yourself. You have to save yourself. You must save yourself. To save yourself, you must do this. Believe and be baptized into Christ. I have the scripture here. Easy. You confess. Like recently, we are blessed. God got baptized. He's the newest one right here. And I'm very happy. God is my brother in Christ. Hey, if you're not his brother in Christ, you better watch out. <laughs> he is a very smart man. <laughs> awesome. Okay, by the grace of God, believe and be baptized into Jesus Christ. You are perfect, and the Father in heaven is perfect because you are in the body of Christ. In the body of Christ, you are in God. Perfect as the Father is perfect. You are a part of God. Be a habitual Sunday worshiper in the body of Christ. Habitual. I, I pick up this word, okay? Attitude. Sunday, I have to go to church. I like it, I go. I don't like it, I still go. I always use this to encourage myself. It does book curl. Can you say, I have this move, I try to quit, but I cannot never, I cannot stop. Same way, going to worship God. Establish a habit, be addicted to study Bible. Every day, I have to study Bible. Every day, I have to pray to God. You see, addicted to that, this is a good addition. Why do you have to go to church? We want to go to see the museum. Why do you have to go to church? We want to go swimming. Why do you go to church? We want to ski, ski. I have to go to church. Can you just skip one? Will God put you to hell if you skip one? No, no, not because you put you to hell, not hell. I'm addicted. I have to go. We are habitual because that is the church of Christ. The church of Christ is the time Jesus believers gather in one place to worship God. That is the church of Christ. Acts chapter 2, verse 1. 
They are not give up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing. You see, they are happy not to go to church. We are happy to go to church as some are in the habit, see. But let us encourage one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. If we deliberately keep on sinning after we have received the knowledge of true, no sacrifice sin. Okay? No more. Yeah, no chance. But only a fearful expectation of judgment and of raising fire that will consume enemy of God. It becomes an enemy on one part. How much more that said severely do you think a man deserves to be punished who has trampled the Son of God underfoot, treated unholy thing, the blood of the covenant, sanctify him? Jesus bought the church with his blood and we forsake to meet together to worship God. What are we doing? We are destroying the church. <clears throat> yeah. I have only three minutes more. Uh, by the way, I would advise some of the people here. The church in Murray Street, all the way, you go all the way, this way, turn left, go up, turn left, all the way to the end, and turn right to the end, and then look to the left, ah, and look to the left, you will see the American Church of Christ at the corner of Murray Street and Central Avenue. You have, you check it out, right? You guys, some of you guys, especially you guys, I want to go down there, they are in debt for a day. You might want to give them some help. I advise some people to go there. I feel of them. Okay? They are down to about three, four people. Keep them a hand right close to here. Okay? <clears throat> right now, all of them, okay, are American, African American over there. Okay, 40 some years ago, I preached for the church and lived in the preacher house here. When they had evening worship, I go down and worship with them in the evening so often because I live close to that place too. <coughs> we want to help each other, okay. It's so close to us, since you are able to come. But listen to me. If you try one hour of work, when you can walk here, walk to here, and you try one hour away, that's one thing will get you to hell. <clears throat> we have some people driving all the way here. 63 exit. Why do they come here? They were baptized here. They were sent up below. Why do they come here? Because they grew up here. They have a sense of belonging. Okay? <clears throat> and they understand Chinese way of life, believing much better. Then in case people ask me, why also here? Her husband is Moses. I know Moses when he was a little baby. Okay? That's why if Moses moved to Riverhead, he will still drive here. <laughs> because it's a built-in relationship. Like Peter, there is this thing we call built-in relationship. Like today, you know why Z still be here? And he's happy to be here. Okay? But the grace of God, there's a reason. Let me fill this up. Because we know who said, and be ready to do this, suffer. Salvation does not come easy. And the uh, such a thing is suffer from their own family. 
they give you trouble. When you want to practice what's said in your Bible. But Jesus said, you have to continue to suffer. Oh, well, have to face it. Your enemy can be your family member. Now, we imitate Apostle Paul as he imitated Jesus Christ. Apostle Paul devoted himself exclusively to preaching, testifying to the Jews. Jews to Jews. Jesus was a Christ. But when the Jews opposed him, became abusive, he shook out his clothes, protest, and said to them, you go to hell, I'm going to other place. From now on, I'm going to the Gentile. May the Lord, may the grace of the Lord Jesus be with all of you. Uh, David, come to say closing prayer.